every Muslim should have this desire in his heart that when I am resurrected and when my progeny is resurrected, when we will be walking towards that madan e hash, you know, people coming behind me should be for, not be for sap or for jar, not be the evil doers, not be the kuffar, but they should be muttaqi. So that is their desire. And I tell you, this is a meter with which you can measure the real virtuousness or only apparent virtuousness of a person. If a person is really virtuous, he will be trying his best to take his sons and daughters in this direction. And if he is only an outward muttaqi, outwardly virtuous, virtuous only to show people, he will not be doing anything for his sons and daughters to take them to this direction. He will only be looking for their future in this world, not the future, the real future of the hereafter. This is the this litmus test which you call in chemistry to prove whether it is acidic or alkaline. Litmus test. What a person is trying to make out of his sons and daughters, that is his real inner personality. That is his real, you know, values which are reflected in what he is trying. Maybe he fails. It's just possible. Just possible you have done your best. But you know your son is not accepting your advice. He's going astray. It's just possible. If one son of Hazrat Nuh alayhi salam could go astray, well, the sons of any person, the most pious person even, can go astray. But you know, he had four sons. Three adopted to his way, and only one went astray. Not yet, not the all of them. The, actually, if all of them are going on other direction, it is a definite proof that the person himself actually was something else from within. And he, what he appeared to be, was only apparent, an outside, you know, presentation of his personality. So this is very important, a litmus test of inner personality of a person.